hi guys and a welcome back to the channel um so today let's just let me just give you the rundown of what we're doing we're just basically uh i'm gonna show you this little outfit that i got from target um workout outfit y'all already know your girl's back on it um if you haven't checked out any of my workout videos that I've done in the past or just record, like, let you guys know um, who I work out to, it is Kimora Foray. Kimora Foray, she does all kind of plus size fitness. If you're not plus size and you slim thick or you slim, you still can work out to her because she does a, a wide variety of workouts, cardios from stretching to, uh, the, um, dumbbells to just everything. She does everything. And like I said, she's a plus size workout, um, um, influencer. So Definitely go check out her channel. I'm sending her some love over there. I'm sending her a lot of love, actually, because she has... I'm back on it. I've been back on it for four days now, and I've lost two pounds just going by her regimen. Now, I'm not for sure when she uploads. I think it's like once a week or maybe once every two weeks, but she uploads a lot of videos, so if she doesn't upload... Um, within that week you can definitely go through all her uh, videos and pick out which one that works best for you I would say that if you're getting you're beginning to get into fitness uh, definitely try one of her 10 minute workouts because it is definitely lit I feel so comfortable every time I work out to her she makes it fun she makes it easy on your body um, and so um, yeah, just go out and go and try her, look up her videos, and pick out something. Let me know in the comment section below what video did you pick out, a uh, workout video did you pick out uh, on Kimura uh, Foray's uh, channel. Anywho, I definitely want to show you guys this lovely outfit that I got, you guys. I am in a size 14. So, uh, with that said, um, in let's say stretchy type of workout clothes I wear between a large and an extra large now this is a large this outfit is from the lovely Target if you don't know what that is Target's because everybody thinks Target's bougie and Target's really not bougie um, it's just like any other store um, but I got these workout um, tights and then I got the bra now I'm not gonna wear the bra right now because my bosoms you guys I need to put this up here so you can see it. I hope I don't forget my phone is right there. Um, put my phone over here. But my breasts, um, I wear a 40. I used to wear a 48C. And now I'm in a 40C. Um, so I'm really trying to get into the things that I um, can wear now. And so uh, most of the clothes, they... Like my bras and stuff, they fit and some bras don't fit, so I have to wind up taking it back. Um, but this bra right here, it fits lovely. Like I love it. Um, but I'm just not as comfortable in it um, because I do have like love handles back there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I do have like love, beautiful love handles back there. And so, um, yeah, this, <laughs> because it has, and it's really cool because it has like um if you sweat a lot when you work out it has like the little holes and stuff mesh holes for the air to come through um so i really love this um it does have like booby pads in there so if your boobs are way smaller than mine's um you can have those for like push-up kind of like and you can also take them out and um it does have like this you know back support where it's open in the back or whatever you can show your little back off but i really really love this bra but right now i just i can fit in it and it looks good on me but it doesn't you know it doesn't like i want my stomach to be flat and i want my chest to go down just a little bit more back in i used to wear like before my son I used to wear a 34 B that was my normal size so if you are a plus size girl sis let me tell you this shirt right here that I got um, I just 
folded up like a crop. It's a regular top. Um, and I wanted to, to definitely go with these, what I have on. I feel really comfortable with this on with this. Um, and I love these. I love these tights. These are high rise tights. So even though I can see some of my belly, this is like part of my C-section belly from my 10 year old son 10 years ago. <laughs> um, but I have some C-section belly left that I'm trying to get away. It used to be like bigger than this you guys but it has gone down tremendously since i've been working back out but you can wear this down and it supports that belly it keeps that belly in you can wear your sweat belt i love let me give you advice i love my sweet sweat belt but i can't find it i don't even know where to say it to be honest with y'all um but yeah i love this waistband like i just love it you guys and i had these on before and it sweat the crap out of my like it doesn't even have anything in it that would sweat your stomach but my stomach was like literally sweating okay so i would suggest if you don't want to buy the sweet sweat um thermal uh, cream to go in your sweet sweat belt just use some regular coconut oil organic coconut oil put that on your belly and it's gonna sweat you like crazy so um if you're on a budget go to dollar tree they have it like for a dollar 25 or walmart um wherever you can find your coconut oil the cheapest definitely grab it i love i just love the fit on it and it also makes my dairy look really good you guys like it really makes me look good so makes me feel sexy you know and then my boyfriend's just like oh baby oh baby <laughs> but anyways you guys um uh, today like i said i'm just going to show you what these look like these workout pants targets do have a whole workout section where there's a whole bunch of workout clothes they're really cute yes they are a little bit on the pricey side but it is worth it because you can have these for a long 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 time um and so other than that you guys you guys see what my workout stuff look like um a little try on thing majeek uh we're gonna be cleaning out my um let me just turn this back around we're gonna be cleaning out my bathroom cabinet and we're gonna be making that like more minimal um because i don't want a lot of stuff in my bathroom like i really don't um so we're gonna be cleaning out the bathroom all that good stuff so y'all stay tuned because this is definitely most definitely one of those weeknight clean with me's um so yeah um i uploaded a video on saturday i wonder how you guys like that video uh it was like a cooking uh under eight dollar cooking uh budget cooking video and i had already got like four views on it so but i just want to show honest opinion how y'all like that video and which i want to see more because i love like y'all i love saving and i love cooking um uh, when i have time to cook as far as when i'm off of work and so y'all just let me know in the comment section what y'all like and i definitely will get videos out to you guys like i just been feeling really good since i got my new camera and i could do more and i'm more flexible and so i mean yeah just i'm in love like i like in love with this whole like creating content and stuff like that and being a con uh, consistent and I, my views everything i've been watching everything they're going up uh my subscribers y'all going up so i'm just honestly i'm so like i'm so like i'm so excited i'm so excited for this journey and um yeah we're gonna be cleaning out this bathroom like y'all better come on because i need some help okay <laughs> So y'all, this is my cabinet section. This is my side and this is babe's side. I really can't wait until I find a new, bigger space apartment. And I'm also looking for an apartment. I just have very, a lot of like things I'm looking for in my new apartment, the bigger one. Um, and I'm looking for more cabinet space in the bathroom. I don't want this I, like I can't stand that why is it there <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me but um I'm looking for more cabinet space so that I can put more things in my cabinet um and because I really don't like this thing that's here this bathroom shelf here don't have any shelves in my bathroom or anything you guys so I'm just looking for I just have a particular um particular apartment in mind um and I'm just 
you know, I'm praying on it and everything. Um, and so um, I know that in my heart, God is going to bless us. Um, and with all this saving and stuff, you guys, like, I'm just so ready. Like, I'm so, 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 so ready. Because this right here is not, it's, it's not for me. Okay. But anyways, y'all, don't worry about my feet. Minus my feet. Because I had to have somewhere to put my feet. Um, but anyways, uh, like I say, this already looks minimalist. Like, it doesn't even look like I got nothing in there. But I want to get these containers out of here. Um, at least one of those containers. So, I'm going to, like maximize everything get everything down to like one container for myself and one container for babe the idea for me cleaning and doing this minimalist journey is because i i want to grow into this person where i'm organizing i'm keeping up with everything in the house how like our finances us uh, saving all that good stuff and so i just feel like i don't want my next apartment to be cluttered or i don't want to have to be decluttering everything so when we do move we don't have like we won't have a lot to move you know what i mean like so um i'm just you know right now i'm already thinking you know like this apartment is my apartment you know i'm manifesting on it so i see it i feel it i can touch it i can even hug it okay um but uh anyways you guys i don't even know where my tripod is so i'm gonna try to do my best at filming today um i do have this bag you guys already know i get a bag i fill it up but i keep my bag because this is my family dollar bag you guys um so i'm just gonna go ahead and fill this bag up with these products that i'm not using um the whole thing with minimalist like i've always told you guys it is just a, a great thing to do because you're just getting your house in order and you're getting all that clutter and stuff out your house and stuff you're not even using so less to me is saving saving you money um when i get rid of stuff i can put stuff you know what i mean so I, i'm just trying to maximize my bath soaps and all that stuff so yeah you guys let me stop talking and we gotta get to uh getting some of this stuff out this cabinet Y'all gonna help me? So really quick, you saw me take everything out of the cabinet. You guys, I, this right here is just birthday wrapping paper that I put at the bottom because the bottom is just old. Like all this cabinet is old. Like I don't even have a toilet tissue roll or anything like that. So now you see why I'm trying to get the heck up out of here. Um, 
and just get somewhere bigger and be happy because this is just it's so old and they don't even try to fix it where i stay and it's a nice condominium don't get me wrong it's nice um but right now i'm just over it so but anyways um i just put some birthday paper down if your the bottom of your sink looks horrible put some birthday paper down from the dollar tree or wherever you can get it cheaper or if you have some printer paper you can print out some like little towel looking uh paper and put it down um and you can definitely go find it on pinterest google they have it on um if you have an iphone then find it wherever you can find it on there but anyways um i got like all my cleaning stuff like whatever cleaning stuff that was under there i put it in this little box this is what i wanted uh, for minimalist for my cleaning because it was over packed and i had two things of cleaning uh product boxes and i just kind of minimize it down to one and just for my minimalist journey um everything that i'm gonna keep is sitting right here so all of this we're gonna keep um let me see okay so i'm just gonna put this over here because <laughs> you guys so basically this is all my stuff here this is just some medical stuff that was under there and this is babe so we minimize all his stuff and my stuff is there i don't know if i'm gonna keep this there but um in this little bottle right here i don't know it's been hiding there's some um some witch hazel in there and so i normally wipe my face with witch hazel after i get through like working out and stuff like that um i bought the nair for to get the hair off of me really quick but still in certain areas like vagina and stuff like that you can't really use that um there so um I'm going to keep my shaving um, razors there as well. And then I do have two bottles of Witch Hazel. One's empty and one's not. The, Dicker the Dickerson one is empty and then the Target's brand up and up is not. So I'm going to probably incorporate the Target's brand into the Dickerson bottle since it's way bigger. And I love that bottle, <laughs> you guys. Um, I'm going to incorporate that and just trash the Target's bottle. And then what I tell y'all, <laughs> we filling up these bags, honey. We, we're going to get all this stuff out of here. We're going to be minimalist um, and we're going to be happy because <laughs> I am very happy. So next, I'm just going to go ahead and put everything back underneath the cabinet that I'm, we're going to keep. Um, and like I said, I'm going to minimize it to one container for each of us. And then for my hygiene product um, for uh, next month, I'm going to have these. And it's going to be my daily hygiene product or our daily um period box here so whenever i'm at home and i need to get pads and a wipe i can just pull it out of here um and this is going to be towards my side so i'll have one of these little things here and then i'm gonna have that for just my personal stuff so yeah let's let's get to it y'all
is what it looks like. We minimize. We are minimal right now, you guys. I'm so happy. Like, babe got one. I got one. And then my personal stuff, I put in the middle. I might wind up putting that in the back of my products. Um, but anyways, yeah. Don't forget, you guys, go to Target and get yourself some workout gear. Be comfortable while y'all being minimal. Be comfortable while y'all working out. Like, be comfortable, okay? While we cleaning, sis, we need to be comfortable at all times. So, this little workout gear that I got on here is bomb. Like, I feel so good in it. And you guys, I literally about to do a Kimura full way for a uh, workout video um but i didn't break up a sweat i didn't burn some calories i am over here like wiping sweat off of me so that just lets you know that you guys you don't have to start out working out but kimura foray is 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 the sis for you okay like if you don't want to work out or whatever go for a walk 30 minute walk that's considered as workout get your calories uh, burn your calories and everything like that. Um, clean. Because you're burning calories. Like, seriously, sis. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy out here. Okay? But anyway, summer's coming up. Um, so, yeah, she got to get it right. Okay? She got to get it right. She got to get it right. Get it in place. Get it in order. Okay? But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I be acting silly sometimes, but that's okay because... I want y'all to laugh like somebody out there having laughed today. And if I can make you laugh, go ahead and laugh. Laugh, laugh, laugh until you cry, okay? Laugh, laugh, laugh until you piss on yourself. Laugh, laugh, laugh. I love y'all. God bless. Bye. <laughs>